The next question I have here is how does CBD or cannabis interact with other medications that I am currently taking or, you know, as a user, I know for me, some of the things we talked about is the cytochrome P450 enzyme system. Can you yep. talk a little bit more about that? Yeah. So it, there's a, there's a, a, um, a liver enzyme called the CYP450. It's a family of enzymes in our liver. And what makes that most important is because that's where almost all of the drugs and all the toxins and all the things that you ingest. So you eat something, it goes down, you absorb it and your liver is primary process is to detoxify in order to make th render things harmless. Um, and it does that regardless. And so um, when you ingest CBD, it uses that pathway, which a lot of, I would say, majority of the prescription medications that are written go down the similar pathway. Now that becomes a problem in two instances. One, when uh, we as medical professionals prescribe drugs that sometimes are called pro-drugs, and they are designed in order to become active once they're broken down. We use the liver metabolism to our benefit. Um, and sometimes CBD can decrease that activation of that drug, rendering it useless basically, or not as effective as it should be. Or sometimes what ends up happening is this, these enzymes are basically just protein substructures in our liver. And CBD sometimes will compete for metabolism uh, of medications and sometimes alter their effects too. Either the medication doesn't get metabolized uh, like it's been thought to, especially in these clinical trials, they really hone in on the effects of medications. And so CBD can alter how our body is metabolizing medications in two different, in two different fronts. And so it can be dangerous um, if you don't know what you're doing, especially at high doses. Um, the two drugs that, the two classes of drugs that I really, really watch out for, and I have, you know, patients and clients go check with their doctors are um, anticoagulants and anti um, anticonvulsants. So there is theoretical, and there has been shown some studies that show CBD can alter your INR or your uh, coagulation factors. And so I really don't want anyone to take CBD um, and really mess with their warfarin or their Plavix or their Zeralto when they, they could maybe be using something else. So those are the two classes of medications that really kind of pique my interest. Um, and a lot of times that I have, you know, clients that come to me, I say, listen, just make sure your cardiologist, your neurologist, your family doctor know that you're taking CBD. Um, so in case that they notice any other side effects, sometimes liver enzyme elevations can occur because it's a little bit harder on the liver sometimes if you're already predisposed. Um, but just, you know, the, the baseline of everything is making sure your medical professionals know you're taking CBD um, or THC products. And, you know, because then you can share with them in case some of your blood work comes back weird. They're like, what have you been doing? And you're like, oh, I'm taking CBD. They can, can attribute it to that and work with you that way. Awesome, awesome. 